we can say if the tag, if the starting tag that you were looking at is A, that obviously means that it's a link, A, anchor. So now we only run this functionality on links. Pretty cool. So what do we want to do whenever we come across a link? Well, what we can do is we can actually say for, and I'll say attribute. And let me go ahead and show you guys what's going on. Don't want to click that. All right. So whenever you have a link, what you do is you have a bunch of attributes in it. So href, usually a class, maybe some other things. Now, what they're equal to is the attributes value. So href is the attribute in the URL is the value. Class is the attribute, username is the value. So whenever we're parsing, we actually get that information right from HTML parser. So what I'm going to do is with that information, I'm actually going to store it in a tuple. So attribute in value in holy sweet moly in attributes. All right. So again, that information gets passed through for this variable. We didn't need to do any of that. We already got that functionality from HTML parser. We're just extracting it right here so we can actually use it in our program. So again, there's often a bunch of different attributes in an anchor tag, href, maybe a class, um, I don't know, maybe some custom styling, inline styling. The only thing we care about is this href attribute. We are looking for this URL. All the extra crap doesn't matter to us, at least not for this program. So what we need to do is we need to test if the attribute, if it equals href, then what we want to do is we want to get pretty much the value that it is equal to. Now, what we can do is we can just go ahead and save that value, but here is the thing. Check it out. And let me see if I can, all right. So I don't think I can find one and I'm too lazy to take two seconds and look. But basically, you see how this is the full URL right here? It has HTTPS, the new Boston.com, videos health. Well, whenever you make a website, you actually don't need to add the full URL. You can go ahead and just add something like this, a relative URL. So you see how this href, it doesn't have the full URL, HTTPS, the new Boston.com. It just has videos underscore health. And again, whenever you click this link, it's going to work just fine. So this is great whenever you're developing a website it's perfectly fine however it causes some problems whenever we're developing a web crawler because what we need to do is we just can't type in a relative path like this uh you know videos underscore health we actually need the full url which just popped up there video header clean poopers oh gross all right so what we need to do is we need to say, hey, whenever you come across a full URL, that's fine. We can just go ahead and stick it in our waiting list. But whenever we come across a relative file path or URL, what we need to do is we need to convert it to a full URL with a full domain name. And that way we can save it and crawl it uh, that page later on. So how do we do that? Well, what we do is this. We're going to go ahead and make a new URL and we're going to go ahead and parse url there it is right there url join now i should probably do this all right so whenever we paste it on our home page you know way before i said there's two things that the user needs to um add to this program to get it up and running the project name and the home page well, what we're going to do is we're going to say whenever you come across a relative URL, then this home page right here needs to be stuck on the beginning of it. That's going to give you that full URL structure. Now, lucky for us, our program already has that. I just didn't add them to the class yet, so I'm going to do it right now. So I'll say self uh, base URL, and you can name this home page URL if you want. And I'll just say base URL because I'm going to pass it in right here. I'll say page URL. 
And again, whenever we create this object, we're just gonna pass in the base URL or the home page URL. And this page URL is whatever page we are currently trying to parse. So it can be this one, it can be this one, whatever. But again, you always need to pass in the home page URL because this is the part you need when making that full URL. And you guys are gonna see, it's gonna make a bunch of sense later on if I just said URL a thousand times and it confused you. So self page URL equals page URL and self links is just gonna be equal to set. So again, just to get this link finder up and running, we have to throw it in two pages and the set right here is just for whenever we start crawling links and gathering all the links, then we're just gonna store it in this set right here. Simple enough. All right, so now what we can do is whenever we crawl a page, we found a link, we found the href attribute, what we can do is we can make sure to join the self base URL, which is the home page URL with the value of it. Now again, the cool thing about this is if it already is a full URL, then it's just gonna go ahead and keep it and it's gonna be formatted properly. If the value is a relative URL or only the ending part of it, then it's gonna go ahead and combine it with the base URL and it's gonna give you the full properly formatted one. So now what you can do is you can go self links, which remember was just our set of links. We can go ahead and add that URL. So again, this is going to always add a properly formatted URL to our set of links. How awesome is that? Now, the last thing I wanna do is, I just wanna make a function to return this. So I'm just gonna say def uh, page, page links, and we're just gonna return self links. So that way, all right. So what we're essentially gonna do is we're gonna create a link finder object and we're gonna feed it in the HTML of some random page, we'll say the home page. So once it gets all of the links right here, we can go ahead and call this function page links and then we get all the links that we can use in our program, save them to a file, run some analytics on them, you know, whatever we wanna do. So ladies and gentlemen, this class is complete, looking beautiful. I will see you guys next time.